What's up guys, Nick Rapazzi here, checking in with you guys. So we're gonna be going to the Hebron Fair and I brought my uh, digital camera, my DSLR, it's back there under the, the shirt. We're gonna stop at places along the way, take some uh, photos of the car, do some cinematic shots, and just, uh, just a basic overview of what the car looks like. Uh, it's gonna go through a big change coming up this winter and in another three weeks, two weeks when I do the turbo build, so. Hope you guys like this video. We'll I'll, I'll tell you where we are as we stop and uh, shoot some photos. All right. All right, guys. So we stopped at I think it's called Gay Gay something. Gay it's a State Gay Park. City State Park. It's like a campground or something. It's a it's a cool like wooded area. I got it parked right in the middle of the street. I'm gonna take some pictures with the DSLR. Amber's taking pictures with her iPhone, but uh. I'll film a little bit with the with the GoPro, and uh, and see what the difference is between the two cameras, and see which one I like. All right, so let's get to it. All right, guys. So going through with the photo shoot that me and Amber just did, as you guys are seeing right now, we uh, I basically just parked the car, went through, took a bunch of shots from different angles. Like uh, I'm not crazy professional when it goes through. I just walk around snap pictures of different angles, see which ones I like. But when it comes to the video where I did like the cinematic views, um, that that's kind of simpler. And I'm, I'm only using a GoPro. So when I go through with the GoPro, I just pick different angles and I just move the camera in the same direction. So if I'm coming in at an angle and I want to go upward, I just keep it the same way it is and just rotate the camera slowly when it goes upward. And then I go back and all I do is edit the the time on it and I cut it by like 50% most of the times because I'm already moving the camera kind of slow and then that 50% gives it that kind of like cinematic like view that's going on. And each clip of the car when I'm going through and, and, and doing it, 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 they're no more than like six or seven seconds a piece. That's why like the whole cinematic like Thing that you're gonna see in the upcoming part of the video it's only a minute and like 10 seconds long but it's like five six seven eight different clips at six seconds at a time and then you just all you do is you turn the the voice off on it and play over the music the music that i'm actually using is from epidemicsound.com you have to pay like a monthly subscription to be a part of it but it works perfectly and there's no copyright infringement or anything like that so it, it it's the best thing I could do so I hope you guys enjoy the, the upcoming part of the cinematic view I do have a lot to work with uh, and get better with it but I think it's alright for what it is right now so I hope you enjoy this part and uh, enjoyed watching me walk around do the sound over as I'm taking pictures of it too so it to uh, kind of a more scenic area. Amber's messing with the camera now. I wish it was a sunnier day, but it is what it is. Some of the shots are coming out pretty good. So we'll see how these come out. I'll do the cinematic part of this. And uh, if you guys have any questions about how to edit it a little bit, that was like the hardest part of starting a YouTube channel was me editing it. So if you guys need any help towards that, I use iMovie. I'm not really that good but I, i'm decent with it a, a, enough 
I don't really know any other editing software, so if it doesn't pertain to iMovie, then you're kind of hit. But let me finish up doing this shoot, and then we're going to head over to the fair. So let's get this done. Alright guys, so we just got home from the fair. We had a blast, watched some of the truck pulls and the tractor pulls. I, I think I did, Amber did film one, so that, that's probably going to be in the video too, So, which you guys already watched. But uh, tomorrow we're going to do uh, Cars and Coffee at 9 in the morning at Dunkin' Donuts in Manchester. And uh, I'll, I'll film a little bit of that while, while I'm there. And uh, what I'm really going to go through tomorrow is showing you the turbo manifolds that I'm going to build and how I'm going to go about it. I'm going to show you the parts that I ordered and what else I still need to get to actually finish the turbo manifolds. And that'll be like basically part one of how to build a turbo manifolds for a C6 Corvette. So the, the box is right there. It's got, I think I spent maybe it was like 350 bucks for all the exhaust manifolds. I still got to get uh, two more bends and I got the flanges and the v-band clamps to connect the two in there as well so but we'll go through that tomorrow i hope you guys enjoyed this upload please have a good week and uh, don't forget to subscribe i will talk to y'all later peace